When the paper tray is empty, pull open the tray and make sure all the guides are pulled all the way back. When filling the paper, make sure it does not go over the fill line, which is seen here. This tray will hold one ream of paper at a time. Before loading, be sure to fluff the paper as seen. Once the paper is placed, slide the guides to lock the paper into place. Then make sure all the paper is locked into place and under the guides. Tray 4 works in the same way as the smaller two, but it will hold a total of three reams of paper to reach the fill line. Open the front panel, grab onto the green handle, and press it down to lift the toner cartridge. Grab the handle on the cartridge to remove. When reinserting the toner cartridge, be sure to use the arrow on top to place it in correctly. Then insert the cartridge. Grab on the green handle and slide it up to lock the toner back into place. Open the right side panel. Most frequent paper jams will occur here and remove any jammed paper you see. Check tray 4 and make sure it's not overfilled. Paper might also be jammed in the fourth tray input section. The left side is where the fuser is located. Press down on the green lever of the duplexing unit. Then flip down the blue locks to the fuser. Slide out the fuser and check for any jammed paper. Be careful, it is very hot. Reinsert the fuser in reverse of which it was taken out and lock it back into place. Jams will also occur in the front section. To remove a jam, remove the toner cartridge and use the knobs to ease paper out of the jam. The long skinny rod is a part of the paper feed mechanism. Paper also gets jammed here. Make sure to remove all jammed paper from the front section.